我们先来做个听力测试，两个任务：第一，请仔细捕捉下划线处的关键词和词组；第二 ，Let me know if you understand the jokes here. Uh, we, I mean, I mean, we, we've done stuff, but I. Okay, okay, a joke, a joke, like the mood. Um, two guys go into a bar. One of them's Irish. I'm Irish. And the Irish guy wins the joke. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we're going to get Friends learned. Come with me to learn the phrases and the phrases in the video. We're going to get all the phrases and the phrases in the video. We're going to get all the phrases and the phrases in the video. Let's go. Uh, we, I mean, I mean, we've we've done stuff, but I. Uh, I'm saying, I'm saying, we've done some things, but I mean, I mean, I mean. Ross 在这又是想用 I mean 来澄清之前句子的，只不过他这个不能叫澄清，叫越描越黑，好像更合适。I mean we've we've done stuff, but I stuff， 这又是个到处都能用得上、挺万能的词儿。我觉得完全可以涵盖中文里的东西啊、事情这些词儿，但好像也不应该翻译成事物，没事物那么正式。如果只能把 stuff 翻译成一个中文词，您觉得哪个词儿会比较贴切呢？ Let me know in the comments, please. We've done stuff. 我们做过一些事。再配上这个有点炫耀的语气表情。I mean, we've we've done stuff, but I. 您猜他这个 stuff 是说啥呢 ？I don't think Ross can find a worse way to behave in front of his girlfriend's father, even if he tried. Ross, man, nobody's stopping you from doing stuff, but flexing it to your girlfriend's dad? Risky move, buddy. 您看 ，Mr. Stevens 这个眼神儿能杀人不 ？Now let's read the sentence together. I mean, we've we've done stuff, but I mean, we've we've done stuff, but I I mean, we've we've done stuff, but I okay, okay, a joke, a joke, like the mood. Okay, okay, 开个玩笑，活跃一下气氛。Lighten, lighten the mood. Lighten, lighten. This is a very interesting word. If you read it as lighten, then you read it as very good. The word is technically pronounced lighten. But here's the annoying part: when North Americans actually speak to each other, you will notice that it's mostly said as lighten, 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 lighten. This lighten being lighten, ten being. 的过程到底发生了什么 ？I don't think we have the time to delve into the details in this video, but don't worry, I've already covered this pronunciation in another video. You'll find the link in the description below. Go ahead and check it out when you're done here. 同时也强烈推荐您来我的频道里好好的挖一挖。With the help of this guy, we're able to break everything down to help you unlock all of the secrets. Of English pronunciations. 借助二狗的帮助啊，我在很多影片中讲解到的发音细节，绝对是您在别的地儿找不到的。我保证您能挖出好东西来。嘿，我还是讲两句吧。虽然嗯和嗯在口型上特别相近，都需要舌头边缘的一圈紧贴牙齿背面，形成密封圈，从而迫使声音从鼻子发出。嗯嗯。嗯但这个音、嗯、明显多出了个喉咙从闭合到打开的动作，导致声音变成了开始的很突然的。嗯嗯、我们借着 lighten 来讲一个学习过程中我们很容易犯的错误。好了，很多同学在尝试把 lighten 变成 lighten 的过程中，会不小心的把、嗯、读成了没有突然开始的。嗯，反正口型都是一样的。有没有这么个突然发出声音的动作？真的有那么大区别吗 ？Yeah, there's a very noticeable difference. If you replace the sound with n, you'd be saying the word line. Let's compare these two words: line, lighten, line, lighten. See, they're not the same at all. Why don't you try this with me a couple of times? Lighten, line. Lighten, lighten, line, lighten. I hope this is helpful. But if you're still struggling with it, 
Don't blame yourself. It is a pretty tough sound. And don't blame me either. I only have so much time here. And I've done my best. What you need to do is to take the best ever pronunciation course, where I have enough time to break everything down in a ridiculous amount of detail. If you put in the effort and work hard with me, you too can sound just like a North American. Now let's read the sentence a couple times together. Okay, okay, a joke, a joke. Lighten the mood. Okay, okay, a joke, a joke. Lighten the mood. Okay, okay, a joke, a joke. Lighten the mood. Um, two guys go into a bar. One of them's Irish. Um, 两个人走进了一个酒吧，其中一个是爱尔兰人。Two guys go into a bar. Wait a second. Go into a bar. 这不是现在时吗？讲故事、讲笑话，都是在讲过去已经发生了的事儿。难道不应该用过去时吗 ？Good question. Of course, it's good. It's my question. I don't even know if you wanted to know this. I'll talk about it anyway. In English, stories are typically told in the past tense. This is because most events being described have already happened. However, some storytellers prefer to spice things up by using the present tense to tell the story of the past. It brings the events to life and draws the audience directly into the action. Two guys go into a bar. One of them's Irish. One of them is Irish. 其中一个是爱尔兰人。其实咱中国话里的很多笑话也是这么开始的。两个人走进了一家酒吧，其中一个是东北人。这明显就是要开地图炮的架势，我不往下讲，你也猜得出来吧？这个笑话八成是要拿东北人开算。所以 Ross 这句 Two guys go into a bar, one of them is Irish。从一个爱尔兰人的角度，听着就不是什么好话。Let's try to read the sentence a couple times together. Two guys go into a bar, one of them's Irish. Two guys go into a bar, one of them's Irish. Two guys go into a bar. One of them's Irish. I'm Irish. 我是爱尔兰人。得 ，Ross， 这是整撞枪口上了。简单说明一下 ，I am Irish。字面上是我是爱尔兰人，但其实 Mr. Stevens 是在讲自己是爱尔兰后裔 ，American with Irish descent。明显正在聊天的这几位都是美国人，所以也就没必要啰嗦。Irish 就全代表了。另外，如果您有兴趣了解一下美国的人口和人种构成。也可以来看看这部影片。你应该可以在屏幕的右上角找到链接。I'm Irish. I am Irish. 在这儿 ，Mr. Stevens 有连读。I'm Irish. I want to stress this again. 连读就是把前后单词都发准，在语速足够快时，自然发生的现象。绝大多数情况下，没有必要刻意往一块念。You can say this with me a couple times if you want. I am Irish. I'm Irish. I'm Irish, and the Irish guy wins the joke. <笑>然后爱尔兰人赢了这个笑话。The Irish guy wins the joke. 头回知道笑话里还在输赢呢。Wins the joke. <笑>虽然嘴上说的是 wins the joke， 但是 Ross 的表情明明是在说 Please don't hit me. 看来 Ross 的求生欲还挺强的。反正原来要讲的埋汰爱尔兰人的笑话肯定是得憋回去了。那咋办？让他们胜利一回呗。The Irish guy, the Irish, the Irish. The word the is pronounced the when it comes before a vowel. But this is not what I wanted to talk about because you most likely already know this. 问题在于知道有用吗？好像也没啥用，该错还是错。Even with this knowledge, people still find themselves mispronouncing the word. The other, the orange, the apple. Ah,、uh, is that you? 您猜我当年学英语的时候有没有这个问题？这个问题就是我发明的，好吗？说一个错一个，关键是说完自己都能听出来自己说错了，老闹心了。闹心完，下回还说错。说英语时经常犯这种低级错误的，不可能就我一个。学英语多年以后，自己说话仍然时不时 he she 不分的各位，可以在评论区举手示意一下哈。大伙儿啊，都这毛病。This is how I have dealt with this problem. Every single time I catch myself saying it wrong, I force myself to repeat the correct version. I would say it so many times until the right version sounds natural to me, and the incorrect one starts to sound weird. 
The same process repeats when I encounter my next mistake. 这看起来是个挺笨的动作，都知道原理了，还重复这么多遍干嘛？很简单，咱平时说话的时候，语言的组织全凭我们多年积累的习惯。相信您平时和朋友、同事、家人聊天的时候啊，也不打草稿，想起啥说啥，而且咋说咋对。这是因为您中文语法学得好，每句话都是用语法检查过才说出来的。拉倒吧，咱大多数中国人根本就懂不了几条中文语法，懂语法的平时也没时间用语法来组织句子。我们平时说话的发音、遣词造句等等，其实都是多年使用中文所形成的。习惯所决定的，那习惯又是如何建立起来的呢？重复到了一定数量就建立起来了呗。抓住自己说错一次，就马上用短时间内大剂量的重复来强迫自己建立新习惯。这个看似无脑的体力活，其实就是解决这个问题的最有效方案。重复多了，所谓语感就来了。这时候，一些虽然以前没练过，但其实发音或者语法关节和咱狂练过的内容差不多的句子，就会被咱不假思索的说正确。Trust me， 这种感觉老爽了。要和那些学英语多年但还是会犯特别基础的发音或者语法错误，听力连简单的对话都很难应付，有点灰心丧气的朋友们说一句 ：“It's not your fault. You've been taught wrong, and you've been doing it wrong.” 用什么样的方法来学习英语，简直太重要了！想得到更多超有效的指向性建议，欢迎大伙去关注一下我频道里的这几支影片，相信您会受到很大的启发。或者您也可以直接来我们的线上课堂学习我的独家英语学习方法论课程，我保证会让您耳目一新。Now let's say this a couple times together. The Irish guy wins the joke. The Irish guy wins the joke. The Irish guy wins the joke. Ross, Ross, how crazy that we would run into you! 真难以置信，我们竟然会在这里遇到你。How crazy? 有多疯狂 ？How crazy? That, how crazy that? 后面加上一个陈述句，是开始一个感叹句用的。We can try to make up a couple sentences on the spot. How crazy that they're leaving so soon? How crazy that you have cleaned up the room in half an hour? How crazy that we would run into you? How crazy that we would run into you? I wouldn't be too surprised if some of you were thinking that doesn't sound like a we would run into you. We'd run into you. How did you make out we would from that? It sounds more like a we had. We'd run into. We'd run into. Well, let me tell you why it's we would and why it sounds like. We'd run. They're talking about what's happening right there then, so we had doesn't make sense. But we would make sense. Because it indicates that the speaker and others did not anticipate or plan to meet the person, but did so by chance. So, in 发音上 she didn't use the contraction "we'd," because 明显在 "we" 和 "d" 中间还有一拍 Let's compare these two. We'd run. We'd run. We'd run. We'd run. She also did not say we would, because we would 里面的 "w" "oo" 需要在嘴唇上有一个收紧的动作比较一下 We would run. We would run. We would run. Monica 的这个版本是她在语速非常快的情况下，嘴唇没有来得及做出 W 所需的收紧的动作，所以 we would run 才听起来会有点像 we would run. We would run. 这句话被读成了这样的原理，我们知道就好。这种话说的太快、纯混过去的技术，并不是我们现在最需要掌握的。Run into you. Run into. This means to meet unexpectedly. 不期而遇，类似意思的短语还有 bump into, come across, cross paths with. 同时 run into, run into 又是一个前面的单词是嗯音结尾，后面紧接着一个元音开始单词的情形。Let's try this together. Run into you. Run into you. How crazy that we would run into you. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh. Oh, 天哪！谢谢你们。Ross 这各种自己挖坑自己跳，已经快把自己折磨哭了。他这表现哪里是看到了朋友们，分明是一副死死抓住了救命稻草的模样。Let's also read this sentence a couple times. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh my God! Thank you. Well, that's pretty much everything I need to cover. 我们回到原文来看看，现在您是不是都能听懂了？ 
。By the way， 您的点赞和评论对 YouTube 是否推荐我们的影片至关重要。如果您喜欢我的讲解 ，please give us a hand。Actually， I don't even need a hand。A thumb is good enough。And thanks for your help。Uh, we, I mean, I mean, we've we've done stuff, but I. <laughs> okay, okay, a joke, a joke, like the mood. Um, two guys go into a bar. One of them's Irish. I'm Irish. And the Irish guy wins the joke. <laughs> Ross, Ross. Ross, how crazy that we would run into you. Oh my God, thank you. Oh. Told you you'd be able to understand everything. Nothing is hard when you're learning it with Jerry.